Africa, New York giant Amani Toomer took some time away from his volunteer work with the medical mission to explore the country and learn about its history firsthand. My full name is Amani Ascari Toomer. Amani means peace and Ascari means warrior and uh, tumor means tumor. <laughs> My parents picked up a Swahili dictionary and they didn't get through the A's. Amani and Ascari, they, that was it. <laughs> Out here, it's the real Africa. And once you get here and you stay here for a couple of days and you just realize it's just a place like Carolina, like California, it's just a place, you know? And the way that people here deal with, you know, the poverty and things like that, I think it's, I think, you know, it's inspiration. You know, people could be so happy with, with nothing. When we went to the villages and uh, we got a chance to see how the villagers live every day-to-day -day life, it's fishing villages, so they're holding, pulling their nets in. And the way they pull their nets in is what's really kind of interesting. And they're not just pulling it in. They got rhythm. They got style to it. And it's, uh, it's culture, you know, and they're singing to it. So it's, it's one of those things that uh, you don't get to see every day. And it's very um, specific to the African culture with a lot of songs. And while they work, it's, it's very, you know, it, it, I don't know, it just it makes you feel like you're... Uh, Makes you feel like you're in Africa. <laughs> We're on uh, Cape Coast. We're at the uh, slave fort where all the uh, slaves were processed before heading over the Western Hemisphere. This is uh, a lot of history here. A lot of bad stuff went down here. But, um, you know, we got to see it, you know, uh, see what it's all about and see how. I don't know, I don't really know how I'm gonna react to this, but uh, we'll see. Thinking about it over, it brings it all full circle. You know, you read about a lot of stuff in history books and you read about all this stuff. And I think, uh, you know, in history sometimes in schools can be kind of boring, but when you actually go to the places and see where history takes place and smell and feel the walls, it, it, uh, it changes the whole perspective of, 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 of your of history and you start to appreciate the fact that this really happened. It just makes it a whole, it takes it to a whole different level when you actually see, you know, the stuff posted, reading about it in books. Now we're in a Liberian um, refugee camp, and uh, you know they they're excited to see us. We're excited to see them. These are displaced people. They've been here for 18 years, and they want to get a, a shot to get back home. So you know you can really understand the plight of these people, and um, you really realize how you know how great you know you, a lot of people have it in the states when you look around a place like this. We don't have money. We are picking plastic for money. They're trying to do, they're doing surgery on people's eyes. A lot of eye doctors. Is it free of charge? Yeah, it's free of charge. Eight, number, the number eight and one. Get to home. My bad. Dot com, that's it. Dot com. Yeah. Just give them my email so that, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get some of the information and spread it around in the States. I screw up a basketball, I can see the height, man. Nah, I don't play basketball. Wow! Too short. You what? I'm too short. You say he's short. Those basketball players are like. Oh no, you're not short, man. Me? Amani. Amani. Yeah. Kelly, huh? All right, Kelly. Kelly Smith. Kelly Smith. It means a lot to come here and say hi to people because uh, to see a person come from over the states, come from another country that you know that they care about what's going on here and care about them, I think that gives them hope a little bit and hopefully we can keep them uh, a positive way of, way of thinking. When we come back, NFL players' helmets off wraps up with Imani as he concludes his amazing experience in Ghana.